Hello, Spider fans everywhere and college football fans across America and around the world. Satchmo, glad to be back for James Madison uh, week from an undisclosed and remote uh, location. Spider fans, I know you were disappointed like Satchmo about the uh, New Hampshire loss, but I'm over it. I think we showed uh, the potential that we've got to have a successful season, and hopefully we can get a few of those kinks worked out this week when the Spiders uh, go to Harrisonburg to play the mighty James Madison Dukes. Now, the face of James Madison football in the last uh, decade or so has been Coach uh, Mickey Matthews, and I've had just as much fun uh, listening to him, looking at him on TV, looking at him on the sidelines, laughing, disagreeing, and having uh, fun with the mixer. So, I thought uh, this week that the, with the pressure he's under up there in Harrisonburg to have a good season, that I'd send him a letter that give him a little bit of encouragement before Saturday's big game. So I put my thoughts down on paper, and here's what I'd tell the mixture. Hello, Coach Matthews. Congratulations on your 3-0 start against FCS opponents, particularly that impressive road win last week against the Indians. You've got to be happy with that big CAA win on the road. Coming off two mediocre seasons, it looks like you might be on your way back to the playoffs. As you know, the Spiders come to Harrisonburg on Saturday to play the Dukes. I'm sure the pressure is on you as this is homecoming and all those rabid as well as casual fans will be there. It's also the first big conference game in the enlarged stadium and a chance to bury a team which has given the Dukes fits recently in Harrisonburg. If all this wasn't enough on you, I know you're having to face the adversity of starting an inexperienced quarterback in this big game. But don't be forlorn. We've had some adversity at Richmond too. It can be overcome. Top all that off with the rumors about moving on to FBS in the next few years, and there's an awful lot on your plate. But you're not a rookie. You've been around the block a few times, and I'm sure you've got some Texas tricks up your sleeve for the Spiders. I'm sure it must be tempting to just overpower our injury-riddled defensive line with your rushing attack, but they don't call you the mixture for nothing. Maybe some of late last year's single-wing attack or an enhanced downfield passing game. Obviously, the Spiders can't take anything for granted. And on defense, the Spiders haven't run it too well, but we have thrown it around pretty good. Maybe some of those jailbreak blitzes are in order. You probably haven't heard much about it, but so far this year we've dealt with a lot of challenges you've complained about in the last couple of years. Spiders have had some key injuries, some untimely turnovers, and some questionable calls. But we've just got to buckle their chin straps and come to Harrisonburg to play, and I'm sure the Spiders will. As JMU transitions to FBS in the years ahead, this is probably one of our last visits to Harrisonburg. Like many Spider fans, I will miss the trip and the many great games of the past. There's just something that happens when the Spiders take the field there. Don't know if you're superstitious or not, but I call it Spider Karma and Mojo. We've got it in Harrisonburg. Watch out Saturday for those spiders. After Saturday, all the best for many more years in Harrisonburg. Yours truly, Satchmo. Last week's uh, Spider loss to New Hampshire turned the predictions contest uh, topsy-turvy, and that old Mr. Football has emerged on top of the standings uh, again. This week's picks are all over the place and might mix those uh, standings up again. Check these Spider Gang predictions out.
Hope to see a lot of red and blue in uh, Harrisonburg on Saturday. If you're going up, have a great trip and have a great time. We've got outstanding karma and mojo in Harrisonburg. That's all uh, for JMU, uh, folks. Go Spiders! Beat those Dukes! So long for now.